everyone, welcome to lesson four of Literacy for Jack and the Beanstalk. Today we are going to be looking at how to sequence instructions on how to plant a fruit seed. Now before we go any further with this video, I want you to go and watch episode four of Jack and the Beanstalk on the BBC link that we sent you in the learning letter. I'll also include the link to episode four down below. Once you have watched that episode, come back and join us for this part of the activity. Great, so hopefully you have now all watched episode four of Jack and the Beanstalk. So in the video, we see that Jack is sad because he didn't manage to sell his cow Daisy for those five gold coins. And he's walking back home with Daisy. And then he comes across an old man who offers to buy Daisy the cow, not for five gold coins, but for five magic beans, which is very mysterious. So today we are going to be working out how to sequence instructions, so putting them in order on how to plant a fruit seed. Now this is going to help us for tomorrow's lesson because tomorrow we're going to be giving instructions to Jack, telling him how we think he should plant his magic beans for them to grow properly. Okay, so in your learning letter for this week on day four, you will see that there is a little link to a set of instructions on how to plant a fruit seed. This should take you to a PDF to download. Do not worry if for any reason this link is not working or like me, your printer is not working or you don't have a printer because we can make do with these post-it notes or little pieces of paper. So all I've done is I've had a look at the PDF and I have written the six instructions on some post-it notes and we're going to read through them together. So these are not in the right order. This one says, fruit then grows on the plant. I'm gonna put them on my little cork board. This one says, fill the plant pot with soil. We've got, the plant grows and begins to flower. We have got the seeds begin to sprout and grow. And we've got plant the seeds into the soil. And we have got using a watering can, water the seeds. So our challenge today, Badgers and Hedgehogs, is to read all of these sentences and work out what order they go in. This is called sequencing. So we need to think about the very first step of planting the seed. Some of your work maybe this week in topic for looking at plants might help you with this. Um, what's the first thing that we should be doing? I'm going to say that I think the first thing we need to do is make sure that the ground is ready for our seed to be put in it. So I'm going to say we should do this one first. Now some of you might agree, some of you might disagree, but it's okay to have your own opinion. We can work it out together. I'm going to put it in this first box that says box number one. So number one, fill the plant pot with soil. And then what is going to be the next one? Hmm. We've got fruit then grows on the plant, but we've not got a plant yet, so it can't be that one. We've got the plant begins to grow and begins to flower. Again, we don't have a plant yet. All we've got is a pot of soil. We've got this one that says the seeds begin to sprout and grow, but hmm, we've not really mentioned the seeds yet here. Using watering can, water the seeds. Again, we haven't said anything about seeds, so it must be plant the seeds into the soil. So this one, I'm going to put in the second box. Now when you're doing this at home, hedgehogs and badgers, you could do this with bits of paper. You can draw your own boxes on a piece of paper. You can do your own writing. And you can also draw pictures for each of the stages. So for this one, you might just want to draw a tiny little plant pot. with some soil in it. 
plant the seeds into the soil. Okay, we've got two stages so far, and now we need to work out what is going to go in our third box. So we've got the seeds in the soil. We haven't mentioned the plant yet because the plant needs to grow first. But we know that in order for a seed to grow, it needs to be fed. Not like breakfast like what we have, but seeds and plants all need water. So is there anything here that says woof for water? Woof for water, woof for water. Ah, oh, here we go. We've got watering can water the seeds. Using a watering can, water the seeds. So we know that the seeds need water, so we're going to put that there. We're doing well. We've got three now. Now, I don't want to tell you all of the answers. I need you to have a think, badgers and hedgehogs. What order do the next three go in? I'm going to give you a few seconds to have a think, and I'm going to have a think too, to see what goes in this box here, number four. Okay, so we've got fruit then grows on the plant. The plant grows and begins to flower. The seeds begin to sprout and grow. Hmm, what's it going to be? Put your hand up if you think it's this one. Put your hand up if you think it's this one. Put your hand up if you think it's this one. Okay, well, I think we're going to do this one. The seeds begin to sprout and grow. So sprout is the stage where a seed just starts to open up a little bit and we start seeing a little bit more of the plant. So the seeds begin to sprout and grow and then we've only got two left. What could the order be? Hmm. I want you to have a go at starting this activity and maybe you can think about what the order is. Try and do it and then if you're not sure, come back and watch this video and we can do the last two together. Okay, so pause your video, start having a go at ordering the instructions. I'd like to see some pictures too if you're feeling up to it of what sequence we should do. Okay, whilst you're doing that, I'm going to have a think about these two. Hopefully you've all had a chance to do a little bit of the activity. We've got two more to do. Who thinks that we need to then put fruit then grows on the plant? And who thinks that we need to write the plant grows and begins to flower? Let's do this one. Which means there's only one box left, so we've got to put this post-it note here. So now we have managed to sequence our instructions on how to plant a fruit seed. Once we have done all of our sequencing and we've stuck them down and we've written them out in our niece's writing and we've drawn our pictures, we can read all of it through again and then that way we'll be able to remember it and we might even be able to plant our own fruit seeds and tomorrow we're going to be able to tell Jack exactly how to plant his beans. So should we read it through one more time together? Let's use our phonics sounds to help us with any of these unfamiliar words. Okay. I've got my capital letter there because it's the beginning of my sentence. F fill the p plant. plant. Fill the plant p pot with soy. Ooh, soil. Fill the plant pot with soil. Number two. P plant. Oh, we've got the same word there. Plant the seeds. This is Seeds. seeds. Plant the seeds into the soil. Next, step number three. Using a watering can, water the seeds. Number four. By this point, some of the words are looking quite familiar because we keep repeating them. The seeds begin. We start. The seeds begin to start. Out, spr, spr, er, out. We've got the words out, and we've got spr, sprout, and grow. The seeds begin to sprout and grow. Step number five: the plant grows and begins to f, u, ow, uh. Push the sounds together. F, u, ow, uh. What could that be? Flower. Well done. The plant grows and begins to flower. And then, finally, fruit. Fruit then grows on the plant. Fruit then grows on the plant. So that's how we get our fruit seed 
to grow and grow and grow and then produce some fruit eventually. So I would like you all to go away and have a go at this in whatever way you would like to do. It could be with pictures, it could be like me with post-it notes, it could just be um, a piece of paper and a pencil or if you do have a printer then you can print out the PDF link that we sent you. Whichever is easiest for you and your adults. Great, looking forward to seeing your work. Good luck.